But first, a warning from police across the state. Thieves could be posing as family members to scam you out of your hard-earned money. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for the News at 11. I'm Keisha Grant. And I'm Mike Heideck. Now, one department is reporting this problem they believe seems to be getting worse as crafty crooks use online searches to try to find more details to be a better impersonator of someone. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin is live in Colchester with how you can protect yourself and your loved ones. Matt? Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, state police here say someone recently reported being tricked, and they have some warning signs for folks to watch out for. Somebody showing up at the home to uh, pick up the money, that's uh, pretty risky stuff. Tonight, state police are looking for this person caught on camera in East Haddam. They say the man went to a home, picked up cash, and took off. Before this, troopers say the homeowners had received a call saying a family member was in custody after a car crash and that a bail bondsman would arrange for someone to get the supposed bond money. Eventually, after turning over the cash, they realized they had been the victim of a bail scam. If somebody gets a phone call about someone being in custody from uh, someone claiming to be a bail, a bail bondsman or somebody uh, in that line of work, that's pretty unusual. Recently, Guilford police warned they had two people nearly fall for this type of scam, claiming a son or grandson was in jail needing bail money. They could have lost $18,000. Investigators say scammers are on the rise and they can come across as legitimate by searching websites and social media for details to pose as the family member. Some of these people are so good at it, they'll try to imitate the, the, the relative's voice. Hi, Grandma, I'm in jail, or hi, I'm in the hospital, I need some help, and I need it quick. And, you know, the relatives, especially elderly, they get so excited about it. You know, they they, they want to take care of their, their grandchild right away, so they are a little less careful than uh, normal. Police urge people who receive a concerning call to not give out personal or financial information and try and reach the family member through different ways or contact other loved ones to confirm what's going on. A little detective work on their end could go a long way to avoiding becoming a victim of this kind of scam. Now, please say a major red flag is if you're on one of these calls and someone says, don't reach out to other family members. And they suggest having a conversation with loved ones about the scam, especially those potentially at risk of being targeted. Live in Colchester, Matt Austin, NBC, Connecticut News.